Hello and welcome back. This is DMAC and uh, today I'm going to be looking at this Avocet ATK uh, Euro cylinder. Uh, this is a British standard Kite Mark 3 stars because it's got all sorts of security gubbins in it which makes it uh, difficult to defeat anti-snapping bits and bobs there and we've got uh, extra drill protection uh, through here, through here, through here. Um, I think it's also possibly got the system where, yeah, I think it has, you can see it in there. If the Euro is snapped, you've got the anti-snap bit there. And the uh, whoever's trying to get in grabs a screwdriver down here to, to pull the cam. I think there's some pins that fire in and, and jam that cam as well. So it's got all sorts of bells and whistles to uh, make it unpickable. Um, and undefeatable and all that sort of stuff um, and it's also got uh, a row of trap pins this is the external side you can see ext written there um, very much like an era fortress that i picked on this channel a while ago so you've got three trap pins there and three trap pins there and they line up as you can see with chamber two chamber four and chamber six now what happens i just got a plug there i think this is from an era fortress actually what happens there um, is if you were to pick it, which we're going to do in a minute, I think, um, and you, you turn it to sort of that first position, um, those three pins go into chamber six, chamber four and chamber two, and then they lock it, sorry, prevent, prevent it from moving. If you're able to get past those and ro keep on rotating the core, um, the bottom of the keyway comes into contact with these three. Then you've got to get it out of that because, of course, to open the lock, we've got to rotate uh, the plug 360 degrees. If you get past those and carry on turning, when we get to this position, these three uh, fire into that hole as well. We've got to deal with those. And then, of course, as we almost come back around to uh, zero position, we get to about here. Uh, those three uh, pins fire in a second time to chambers two, four and six. Uh, so in order to uh, rotate that plug 360 degrees to get the open, uh, we've got to go through four sets of those pins, or twice on each set anyway, to, in order to get it open. Um, that said, <coughs> uh, these aren't particularly difficult to pick in my experience so far. Uh, big words, I don't know, this is only the second one I've picked. Um, but um, despite the security pins and everything else, they're not initially that hard to pick so i thought i'd i did it with the um era fortress i picked that 360 i didn't gut it i'll do the same with this one uh reason i didn't gut it is i did i gated one of these before not it's not this one um with a front follower and the pins in here are so tiny it took me so long to get it back together i was probably there for about two hours fiddling around with pins trying to get it in i don't really want to repeat that experience but what I thought it might be fun to do with this one, assuming we can get it picked, uh, when I did the last, when I did the ERA Fortress that had the trap pins, um, I turned the lock around in the vise so you could see what I was doing and also so that I could see what I was doing. But I thought it might be fun this time to try and pick out those uh, trap pins blind. Um, maybe interesting, may not be, may be able to do it, may not, but let's just give it a go. So he works as he should and the cam turns. Um, oh, let's get him out. I don't think it's got the best bit in the world, but it's certainly not bad. We've got some lows in the front and, and highs in the back, so we should, uh, with that bit in, be reasonable. Uh, zoom you in a bit. Uh, yeah, reasonably difficult to pick. Uh, the last one I picked, I used this uh, curved hook, so I think I will do the same. When you're not in focus there, uh, that should be better. So we'll pop this in the bottom of the keyway and first we've got to pick it normally and try and get uh, to those first trap pins actually before I do that. I'm going to take a little bit of masking tape and I'm going to cover up those trap pins so I can't see uh, what I'm picking. And we'll do that on both sides. And that almost simulates that it's in the door. Of course it doesn't, because oh, I'm picking it upside down. That's just the way I choose to pick. This is lock sport, not lock smithery, but it's um, covered up at least. Um, okay, let's try and give this a pick then. Not much movement in these keyways. Are the, the y, I think it's the Y1 keyway, is it? The Yao keyway. So 
I have found in the past that picking uh, the ERA Fortress, I think I've picked three of those. Oh, and there we go, we've already picked this one just while I was talking. And yeah, there wasn't much finesse in me picking that. I was kind of bitch picking it while I was talking and it just popped straight open. So you can imagine, we're not on the trap bins there. Um, I think if you've got a plug spinner, we could just put that in there, operate that, and then we've defeated all of those mechanisms. But I wanted to try and pick out of the traps. So if we engage the traps, Okay, they're not engaging. Why is that? You can see there, the top of the keyway, the holes in the plug, which are kind of at that angle, should be lining up with those three trap pins. And they're kind of, I don't know if you can see it on the video, they are moving. As I go back and forward, they are moving, but they're not engaging. So there we go, we don't know why they're not engaging. Are they stuck? They don't appear to be, but for whatever reason, they're not going in. So lucky us, we don't need to pick those ones. Um, right, to get past these ones, I'm going to use the same trick I used last time. Uh, which is just using a Y1 key, which I've just ground down. What that does is it blocks the bottom of the keyway, which is that groove there. So as we turn it round, um, the key is sitting in there, and that stops uh, this set of pins, if they work, <laughs> uh, stopping the core turning. There you go, we've got straight past those. Oh, I say that. Have we got past them? Maybe not. Oh, we have. Yeah, just took took a little bit of a wiggle, and then we've got past those ones. I'm not sure if they're working or not, but either way. Um, okay, so if I turn this plug any more, then the holes uh, are going to line up with those ones. I'm not sure if they're going to fire into it or not let's give it a turn and see if they do or whether this is just a faulty uh faulty lock oh, there you go you can see those ones have gone in those two there have gone in is that one going in don't know if that is going in or not Maybe we've got a faulty lock. This is uh, when this one was come off the production line. Quality control were on their T brake. Bit of a disappointment, really, for a lock that should be high security. Anyway, let's put the masking tape back on and we'll try and blind pick uh, out of that side. So at least we tried. At least we tried. Okay. I'm going to grab that same pick and we'll go. I'm not going to use that one. I'm going to use one of these because it's a bit of a, a bit more more of a snug fit. So, and we just need to give it a bit of a wiggle, really. Again, it's kind of bitch picking. Um, I don't think you get much feedback from those trap bins. Um, certainly not the normal sort of feedback that you'd get from the the driver pins in a normal pin tumbler. And there we go. That was just that was literally just just bitch picking, and I did it did it blind. I can't see that, and we are back to the uh, twelve o'clock position. So there we go. I'm like I say, I'm not getting this because uh, it will cause an absolute mess and take me an age um, to get it back together again. But there you go. That's a 360 pick of an Avocet. Sorry, blinding you with the reflection here. Avocet a. ATK, uh, British Standard, three star Euro. Um, yeah, not the most secure one. Maybe it's just a fault with this one. I really don't know why they didn't um, why they didn't work. But uh, yeah, like I say, quality control had a day off uh, when this one left the factory, uh, which worked well for us because we got to pick it. Um, anyway, 
that's all I've got for you today. Um, I will pop a link up there to subscribe if you're interested in these sorts of videos. I'll carry on making them. Um, I think last time I looked, only less than half of the people that watched my videos were subscribed. So if you've got this far in the video, perhaps you enjoy it and uh, you might like to see more again. So yeah, click that icon there. Uh, hit me a subscribe. Always appreciate it. And um, yeah, thanks for watching. Bye for now.